long. And I had never even knew a 28 year old bachelor even existed. Hey man, is she gay or what? Oh, well, he says not, but he's never told the truth in his life. Knock on the door. And Vangel, a lovely woman dressed in expensive dress, followed by a younger, handsome man in his 30s. He's Cal, Jesse's playwright. And Vangel is a very successful friend. They didn't come to go, they just met out in the hall. Hello, Aunt Calfrey, how are you? Uh, it's really nice to see you again. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm wearing my wig. I got no hair. Well, I hate that happens, but you know, you have this thickest most beautiful hair in the family. I used to think of you as the Rapunzel let down your hair. Well, they say my long hair will come grow back <laughs> if I live long enough. Cancer could not be any worse than chemo, love. <laughs> <sighs> it just prolongs your agony. Well, thank goodness for any time that you can buy. I mean, jeez, my mom is, I mean, we can't stand to lose another one. I mean, the earth would not be the same without you. And Vangel says, oh, I love your wig, Colt Free. It's beautiful. It gives you such a different look. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. Before and after. Jesse says, Vanjo, Cal, I want you to meet Luis. Oh, says Vanjo, I'm meeting the mysterious Luis at last. We've all heard so much about you, Luis. <laughs> Oh, the bad. <laughs> really bad, I'm sure, you know. <laughs> they told Jesse all my secrets. <laughs> I have told her. Not all, but a lot. Well, how do you do, Louise? Oh, I'm sorry, it's Louise. <laughs> my mom says that, uh, <laughs> she could not live without seeing you every day, or so, or whatever that means. I remember what she she calls you, the conqueror of the sun. Oh, that's another play I wrote, Cal. Oh, this no. one is called Blue. Oh, and the Spearwalkers Convention. Well, Vangel says, well, I'm curious, Jesse. Why do you call this play Blue and the Spiritual Spirit Walkers Convention? Well, I wanted us all to come in our spirits in honor of Colfrey. There is a question of whether she can retain her body because of cancer. If not, she'll be in the spirit. Oh, Vangel says, I'd gladly come in the spirit to honor my dear friend, Cal Colfrey. I know she's a very brave and powerful entity. Mm. Colfrey says, well, what about Blue? Well, he's pure otherworldly. I thought you needed him for balance. Oh, bring him up! Bring him up! I'm beginning to be a little bit wary. Maybe he can zap some energy back into me. 
Oh, well, I told him to come as soon as he could. He said that his home base is in the Andromedas. And he has to come by telepathy, though. Think, and you're there. So he should be here. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, Cassie. It's you. Oh, sorry. I thought it was blue. Well, who's blue? Says Cassie. Oh, oh. Well, Cass said you were, you'd invited this extraterrestrial. What are we going to do with you, Jesse? You are such a far out playwright and we don't need any more of those. You're almost as bad as Jake. Mm -mm. Not quite, but, and I suppose you'll be wanting a production too. And Jesse says, well, no, we might have to iron a few kinks out of the script before that. I've not met Blue yet. You know how actors are. They, they can turn out to be, you know, insane as hell. Cassie says, well, Cal and I think everybody who came, comes to our playwrights workshop <laughs> is just a little bit crazy some way. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mom. Let me tell you something. Hi, Cassie. Mom, don't you think we should get started? I mean, seriously. <laughs> I'm not getting any younger, right? If your blue character, if he is blue, is not going to show up, so maybe I'll have to play him. What do you think about that? <laughs> Uh-oh. Another knock. Shadra comes right in. She's the other sister. Oh, here's my dear sister, Kofri. Oh, how are you, Kofri? Uh, I'm like, I was afraid the play would have gone on without me. No. Aunt Shadra, we are waiting for late arrivals just like you. Now, it seems that Mother mom over here, extraterrestrial, has not shown up yet. Another late show-upper. <laughs> oh, I'm envious. I'm the only one around here who's seen a UFO, and she's the one writing about an alien. Not seen those ships, Jesse. So what do you know about extraterrestrials? I dreamed last night that he was coming, Shadra. Well, Shadra says, oh, I'm just jealous. I didn't think of it first. Oh, hello, Luis. <laughs> Hi, boy. I'm not supposed to. Surprised to see you here, since Jesse's always thinking about you. <laughs> you spirit walk to her house quite a bit, don't you? Well, she thinks about me, but I think about her, but when we get together, the sparks fly. <laughs> what can I say, you know? <laughs> woo -hoo. Mamma mia, that's a summer surprise and beat the ball. Now there's a knock on the door. A different knock. And we know it must be blue. And so he comes in, dressed in his blue space suit. Ah, he's completely bald and he's taking his blue glasses off and on. <laughs> Something makes me think you're blue. I saw lights flashing from your face. 